So hello out there in the big wide world. Um, I'm tired today. Uh, Devereaux, I want to thank you a whole lot for giving me nightmares all these many years. Um, I had another one last night, and this time it it was different than the last one, and it was different than the one I, I've had for, you know, 30, 35 years. I was taken back there. And of course, the dorm was like totally uh, uh, redone. It was um, it was um, it looked it looked nicer. And I'm sitting there, and you know, I'm telling I don't know why I was there. The, the staff are interviewing me. I'm an adult in this dream nightmare. And I start telling them the crap that I had to put up with. And I'm like, you still do this stuff? You still treat people like that? And one of the staff says, come on, let me talk to you over here in private. And he tries to like, console me. And I'm like, look, if, if you don't have a court order keeping me here, I'm leaving. And I got up and I, I, I left. I had no place to go. I had no belongings. But I got up and started walking. But the fact that I would dream this, the fact that I would dream about being in that fucking hell hole again, and you know, I got out of there in '82. And they had no legal way to keep me there after I turned 18, so um, a few months later, you know, I, I'm gone. Um, I actually had to get an attorney to help me get out. Um, I, I didn't have any money for one. I wish I knew the lady's name, but um, I called that, that lawyer referral service. I think it's by the County Bar Association or something. Yes, it's Victoria County. I was in there four long years. And, you know, nobody deserves the crap that goes on in those places. And, I've been thinking about this, and look, if, 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 if me and so many others are still suffering from what went on there, then shouldn't the staff who did those things be still be held accountable? Shouldn't that institution be uh, required by law? to provide us with, uh, provide the financial means for us to get counseling so we can somehow get beyond this. I, I, I'll be 55 this year. I'll be 55 uh, actually next month. and. I got out of there in 82, and after all these years, after all these years, it still bothers me. Um, you know, the, the problem is that a long time has passed. Maybe those people don't do those things anymore. Maybe they regret what they did. I don't know. But, um,. I wouldn't want the people, the perpetrators, to to suffer, but I 
I, I do think they should be held accountable for their actions. And as long as, as we have to suffer, then they should have to be held accountable for what they did to us. So, you know, I, I saw a video years ago. I don't even remember the name of the organization anymore, but um, I don't support that organization anymore either. But um, it's a group that, that deals with people like me, you know, who, who went through these institutions, hospitals, schools, facilities, treatment centers, whatever name you want to give them. In the end, they're all the freaking same. And they had this guy, and he got out. I don't know how he got out or when or whatever. I don't know. I don't remember the details. I don't know if they even knew him then. And he uh, he phones his mom his mom one day and says, well, "Why don't we we have lunch and uh, let's talk?" And he goes in. He sits down. They talk, and they don't film the whole conversation. But um, he said, um, "Thanks for what you did to me." And that was the last time he had any contact with his mother. And uh, looking back on it, you know what? I should have done the same thing with my mother. I, I should have, when I was, when I turned 18, instead of just, um, well, when I turned 18, what I should have done is gotten whatever I could carry with me and walked out, just walked away. I had no place to go. I was 18, so no shelters would have taken me, no youth shelters would have taken me. I was severely damaged. I trusted absolutely no one. I, I still have trust issues. But, um, you know, living on the streets would have been better than what I was going through in there. Just, just because you have a roof over your head and you have some food to eat, Food wasn't very good. You didn't get a whole lot of it. Uh, but, you know, living on the streets versus being in there. What, so I'm, I'm going to be in there with a roof over my head and some food to eat while I'm being raped and beaten and denied an education and so forth and so on. On one hand, less than five fingers, I can count the good staff that were there less than five fingers in a four-year time span so yeah thanks Devereaux thanks a lot I hope you staff and the administration I hope you guys feel real good about yourselves about how you treated people and, and how many of us are still affected very negatively from our experiences there